I want to repay my, my pay my respects to their elders, past and present, and also to say that most Australians acknowledge that as a country we yet have not reconciled the pain and the hurt that many of our Indigenous people feel, and I think we stand with them in solidarity until such time as we do. I'm very pleased to be here because um, I see many members of my own local community in the federal city of Cornwall and I'm very pleased to meet many of the Warringah community here in Melbourne and I want to say to you that I'm here today to support you and to support your calls for the end of atrocities against the people of Warringah and I also want to say to you that many of us here fight for human rights. And for most of my parliamentary career, I've been on the Human Rights Subcommittee, where we have all stood in solidarity and support for the years that Aung San Suu Kyi was in uh, under house arrest, fighting for the rights and dignity of the Burmese people. So it would be remiss of me to note that today her silence fills the world with grief. And her silence fills the world with grief for women in particular because to look at these signs around me and to know that women and children are being killed, women are being raped, villages are being burned, an entire people is in the process of being extinguished. It's very difficult to reconcile that silence, Aung San Suu Kyi's silence, with the efforts that I and many other members of the Australian community and the international community all those years have stood by her in her efforts. And I would like to appeal directly to her because if anyone knows what struggle is, surely she does. And it is very important, she has a very important role to play in this situation at this time. Of course, <coughs> Here in Australia, you are all welcome. We are welcome. We're a country where we are lucky to live in a situation where democracy is the uh, state of affairs, where we can worship our faith and practice our culture without fear of prosecution. This is not the case, of course, for the Warringah people. That is why we are here. The international community has always been important in calling out injustice and in calling out violence against humanity wherever it takes place. And on this occasion, the international community in the form of many people, including Pope Francis, who has called to, for the end of the violence against the Rohingya people and who has called to pray for the people, for the Muslim minority, and has called the brothers and sisters. And that, that voice and that call should comfort us all. It should comfort us in knowing that you are not alone, you're not alone here, and you're not alone in the international community. And can I say to you that the Labour Party will stand with you, I certainly will stand with you. Thank you. Thank you. In the Parliament, it is very important that your voice is heard, but your voice must also be represented throughout the various levels of our Parliament, and one of those is the Human Rights Subcommittee. So I would encourage you all to find a way to approach the Human Rights Subcommittee so that people, or you or your representatives, can put your case to the Australian Parliament and to the members of the Australian Parliament. And yes, I do want to call on our government. I want to call on our government to insist that violence see, uh, see, stop. And I want our government to insist and to work with our ASEAN partners who also have called Malaysia and Indonesia in particular who have fought an end to the violence and probably support the efforts by the British at the Security Council to consider sanctions against Myanmar. Thank you. Thank you.